Well, we got two of those done. We can now do the next thing for Makoto, and we can progress with Hifumi's. Hey! All right. We can read through some things. Um, you know what? Let's learn some pro darts. Mm -hmm. We'll need to do this at some point. Find the posture that feels most stable to you. Nice. It's true. It'd be impossible to aim your throw without having a solid stance. So, you finished reading Learn Pro Darts? Did you get some tips pl on playing darts? There's sure a lot more to the game than the first, uh, than it first seemed, huh? That said, it's not much to point... Uh, it, there's not much to point uh, just, to just study the theory of it. Let's put some knowledge to use in place in time. There All we right. go, golly. <laughs> My reading just kind of went out the window there. Sorry about that. You can now use third eye when playing darts. Increase your focus while preparing a dart throw, making it easier to hit where you aim. Oh, we almost at the station. I'd say that was a very efficient use of your time. That just helps you a lot better of getting the points you need when you need to play darts. Textbooks open to Picking page. up from last time, we were talking about the French Revolution. Having executed the royalty, the revolutionaries proceeded to take the courts under their control. All who opposed the revolution were executed. However, the revolutionaries too, when they were, were then reviled as despots and executed by the public. Many people were executed during the French Revolution. The fact that this many executions were possible was actually due to one specific invention. Amamaya Kun, take a look at this. What is the answer? This is a guillotine, a tool in which allowed the mass uh, allowed for mass execution. Now, do you know who invented this instrument? Joseph Ignitz guillotine. This is it. Correct. That's correct. This tool is named after him. By the way, Charles Henry Sanson, the famous executioner, he said he killed 2,800 people with the advent of the guillotine. This may look cruel, but it delivered a swift, painless execution, regardless of one's social status. It would be an exaggeration to say that it embodied the French spirit of equality. Wow, really? Amamaya-kun seems kind of smart, doesn't he? Nice wow, you must be really smart. I just... Wow. Wow. I re <laughs> increased my other rank. <laughs> my knowledge to max rank. And you say that? Wow. Revolution is sometimes a bloody thing. The revolutionaries that rose up for freedom became despots themselves. It's a common tale. Our social reform doesn't hurt anybody in the real world. It's a bloodless revolution. Well, about that. <laughs> Someone's making it not look like that. Even on the surface, it does not. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we got everybody wanting to hang out with us. Well, we'll decide that in a hot minute. But we are going to do this again. Because golly, I want that Max Guts at this point. <laughs> Alright. Also, uh, hold on, let's do this first. Alright. What shall we do? Luck reading. Have fortune read. We're going to do guts. I will say it there is a nice it is nice that there's a lot that can increase your stats passively and not pass time. I, and that's the thing, I did not know about the guts part. I honestly thought it would be solely, it, like, I knew kindness was one. Um, that's the general store. Oh, she's not open unless during the night. Okay, I did not know that. Um, uh, let's see. Come over here. Yep, and there we go. Um. Hey. Wait, what? I can't do it. Hey. 
Okay, you really like the sofa. Let's get it when you get your own place, all right? Oh, it won't let me do it. Ow. Fooey. <laughs> That's just rude game. All right, fine. Be like that. All right, so I know hers is pretty high up. Um... several things um all right she's rank five he's rank one she's rank four i think yeah she's rank four okay so Okay, this is gonna be a little bit. Uh, you know what? I let's go ahead and try to finish hers off. It's been a while since we've hung out with her anyway. All right. Do I have the priestess though? I do. Okay, I was about to say this is gonna get awkward. All we can do now is wait. Oh, I, so I spoke with Akio, and she said her boyfriend was okay with the double date idea. She asked me to show her your picture, though. Apparently, um, she thinks you look a little lame. She told me that my boyfriend isn't in the same league as hers, Tsukasa. But I think she'll change her mind when she sees you in person. Do you have time to spend with me? Don't worry, I'll back you up. All right. Uh, this is gonna be a thing. <laughs> Let's hang out. Thank goodness. I'll contact Ikkyo. Shall we go? Let's meet at the diner, as I mentioned before. Yo, my name's Kasa. Heard all about you two from Ikkyo. So I heard you're a student council pres, Mako-chan. And uh, Makoto-chan, I totally wish I could be one of your council members. Uh, oh, um... Uh, yes, I am. Uh, totally. Four Eyes is here's your boyfriend, yeah? Y yes. Uh, or yeah. Huh. Uh, it looks like you guys don't get along too... Get too along... Uh, what? Get along too good, though. Uh, it looks like your loves hit rock bottom. Are you seriously dating... Golly. Well, um... Right. He doesn't really like it when I get all clingy with him. Oh, I get it. You just don't got any affection compared to us. Mm-hmm. Hey, babe, did you do something special today? I don't remember you. <laughs> wow. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. <laughs> this is weird. Sorry, I have to use the bathroom. Bye. Later, lovebird. Oh, my goodness. Excuse me. Um, there's something I'd seriously like to ask you. Are you serious about pursuing a relationship with Akio? Aha! I was wondering when our honor student was going to show her true colors. It reminds me, Akio said you were getting real pumped about getting to know me. Why is that, huh? I just wanted to make sure you're good for her. Dang! <laughs> Girl, you really care about your friends. Good stuff, as I always say. Friends are like super important and uh, stuff. Speaking of which, my a friend of mine, GF, is a total friend of mine. How about you give me your digits? <laughs> huh? What's wrong? Give me your number. I am... Come on, don't be so pushy about that. Nobody asked you for us. Anyways, if you already gave me yours, Mako-chan, we good. Hmm. I do have one more question to ask. You're not going to bring Akio into your club, are you? What, you suspecting me? I wouldn't dream of it. It'd be a shame people think us hosts are just flirts. But my love with Akio is so pure as snow. Don't get a twist of story. Huh? Is something wrong? Oh, I was just getting to know your friend, little friend here, honey. 
Oh, well, we should get going. I got it at work soon. Ah, me too. Bye. Oh, my gosh. Hmm. I hope he's not tricking her. What are you... <laughs> but no matter what I may think, I still don't have any proof. And above all, Akio seems really happy. Am I just getting in the way of their happiness? I don't know. I don't think so. I suppose so. I mean, I really am worried about Ikkyo here. In the end, I know this is just a hunch, but my father always stressed how important it is to trust hunches. It seems that host sent me something already. What is this supposed to be saying? It's just full of emojis! It's me, Sukasa heart emoji. I know we just met, but I couldn't wait to phone emoji you. I'm so hab or hap to be friends with you, Mako Chan. Clapping emoji. Clapping emoji. Hot springs emoji. That was barely a coherent sentence, but I still I, I'll need to get used to that if I'm gonna help Thank you. Thank you very much. By the way, I'm glad you were here with me. I would have panicked if I had been alone. I honestly despise how immature I can be sometimes. But I'm working through that with your help. So, thank you. I, dude's a creep. <laughs> Just hands down, he's a creep. All right. <laughs> All right, let, let's do this. Or deal with it. I don't know. Shall we go? We should get going. I'll let you know if anything else comes up. Sure thing. All right then. Goodbye. Hey Ren, thanks so much for everything today. I feel strangely exhausted. It reminds me of when I went to the red light district. Even after we split ways, that host kept sending me messages. He uses these weird symbols. I have no idea what he's saying. I just want to ignore him, but I shouldn't for Akio's sake. Just tell him you're on a date. Oh yeah, that'd be a good excuse to ignore him. You have some great ideas. Thanks, I'll try responding with that. Uh, I just can't shake these doubts about Akio's boyfriend. I can't tell if he's a bad guy, but he doesn't seem on the level either. I'll need a little more information. Thanks for all your advice. I'll talk to you later. Chase. Ah, you're back. Yes, I am. How are you? Are you free today? You know what? I might do that. Um... I can't up Sojiros because I don't have the right stats. Um, Shima is an Akihabara? Um, okay. <laughs> I forgot he moved over there. Um, let's see. Uh, I could get more requests if I go over here, but honestly, going to Chinya is not a bad idea, because I can up hers, which would be a good idea. I think, anyway. Oh, I was curious about you, so I read your fortune. I tried numerous times, but the Empress card keeps appearing. Last time, I felt like you were having some trouble with moon, women, but I sense something different now. Anyway, please be careful. Well then, what would you like to do today? I'd like to do a verification test. I've been waiting for you. Let's do a verification test already. I'm surely, I will surely figure out your trick. All right. What rank is she? Rank one? All right. I know I checked that like not that long ago, but I don't remember. All right, let's let's do a thing. Good evening. 
Hello there, Mifume Sensei. I can't wait for today's session. Your last prediction was practically perfect. Uh, by the way, um, who is this boy? Oh, you needn't mind him. That's just my apprentice. If anything, you can think of him as a human-sized stuffed animal. I mean, look how fluffy his hair is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, so he's okay with working for a woman, even though he's a guy? Uh, Sometimes something like that just is unthinkable in my line of work. Um. I take that mean... I take that to mean something else has happened with your job? Yes, a male co-worker of mine has just given, was given all the credit for a successful project I poured my soul into. And do you know what my boss told me? He said it was just the natural order of things because I'm a woman. How terrible. That's why I'm thinking of leaving and starting up my own business. I've actually been planning for some time. I'm not sure if I'll be able to find a foothold in the market, though. Here we go. In that case, let's ask the turret. Show us the truth, O oh Divine Power. Yes, I've seen everything. Hmm. The cards have appeared in reverse. In other words, it seems though your business is doomed to failure. No! What should I do? I'm sorry, but in this case it appears your fate is inescapable. Inescapable? What are your thoughts? Were you even listening? What shall we do? What can we do to help this woman who is oppressed by the savagery of a male-dominated work environment? Well, let's encourage her. What? What? It's a little idealistic to expect that it'll actually work. Incidentally, what would you say if you wanted to encourage her? Overturn your fate! <laughs> Don't be so irresponsible! That's simply not an option. How can you expect her to overturn that which is inescapable? Overturning fate? That's right. I don't have to follow the rules of this oppressive society. I can do it. I'll reshape... Oh my gosh, this is a thing. <laughs> I'll reshape every aspect of my antiquated industry. Uh, what? <laughs> my mind is made up. I'm going to quit my job and set off, I'm gonna set off on my own private business venture. And even if I fail, at least I won't be wasting away doing busy work for that sexist <laughs> guy anymore. Thank you, young man. If you'll excuse me, uh, Mifume Sensei. What? Uh huh? Uh. I, you're far too irresponsible, Emma san Her misfortune has already been made clear. These cards will surely back me up on that. What? It seems the sequence of cards has changed. Her financial future is now appearing as extremely successful. What did you do? Are... Are you a psychic? Did you use your powers to, in order to change the, the order of the cards? My divine power is capable of sending people like you down to the depths of hell, you know. <laughs> no. Uh, yes, that has to be it. That's the only way this could happen. If he cannot be changed. Fate is absolute. That's how it must be. Come on, open your mind. That may not be such a bad idea, but if that is a possibility, if that possibility were the truth, how could I keep my holy stone business intact? Uh, anyway, you've changed both the flow of destiny twice now. Both times coming before my very be eyes. Helpful. It seems this verification process is turning out to be much more meaningful than I expected. Yay. <laughs> uh. All right. Uh, on there we go. You'll come back as uh, come back again soon, right? Promise me. Goodbye. Yeah. Well, that's enough for today. Good night. Hi, this is... is this Emma Maya-san? I'm just not convinced about what happened today. So I'm going to get right to my question. You're currently standing right in front of your house, correct? Uh, yes. 
see? That's exactly what my reading told me. Fate is absolute after all. If everyone could reverse their fate as easily as flipping a table, life would be easy. This, this is why I believe I need to conduct these verifications with you. So please promise me you'll stop by my booth again? Okay, I'll talk to you later. <laughs>